going everybody welcome back to the channel I know it has been a while it's been almost probably two months um, just getting settled in at the new place kind of getting back in the groove of things getting used to being somewhere different and all that good stuff if you guys know how it goes so as you can see this is the attached garage of the house um, got the vet still for sale sells it sells but don't don't um, we got that side by sides obviously here old ladies car and um, C10 and the Chevelle are at a buddy's house we're gonna go over there shortly see you see all that stuff um, Harley's over there as well so we're gonna go do that shortly we got something for the C10 that we're gonna be doing today um, we just put a fuel tank and a sending unit in the C10. Um, it was much needed. No more fuel filter issues. The fuel gauge works now, so that's nice. Um, but didn't really think that video in it was something that really needed to be done. Not really anything out of the ordinary. Pretty simple. So I uh, went ahead and just knocked that out. Um, but what we got for today we'll have to test on and i'm sure you guys will like that but we'll give you a little tour before we go do that uh, as as you've seen that side by side all this in a two-car garage but it works and they're nice and safe out of the weather so there's that um, go outside here I'll show you that uh, it's raining so bear with me but we got some land now pretty nice we'll uh, have side by side out there quite a bit I'm sure um, we'll go out here and see what else we got so driveway comes in right here shop will be right here all this the shop and then we'll have plenty of riding area front yard backyard all this there's a little creek down there that you can't really see very well but got that so uh, yeah pretty good pretty good deal um, got some land now something that we really were striving for so just a little spot to call our own old brown trucks out here just doing its thing probably take that over to, over to our buddy's place and uh, take a ride in it but yeah that's really about it nothing too crazy um, moved in a little of middle of last month and uh, within 20 days on New Year's morning about 5 o'clock we were awoken by this tree deciding to fall on our new house so that's cool still dealing with that um, that tree is going to be coming down because we just don't really want that to happen again Basically what had happened was the ice just weighted down, um, that was it, so cedar's not real real sturdy for ice, so we're just going to get rid of it and call it good, but uh, we've been dealing with that, still don't have internet, um, obviously by the time this comes out we will have internet, but right now we don't, so still dealing with that as well. Um, other than that, things are going pretty good really. Um, can't complain so getting settled in with a new job and all that good stuff but uh, we'll just we'll get headed over to the C10 and see what we got going on there and uh, just cut right to it also one thing I forgot to mention we got something in the works that um, I'm not really gonna announce yet all I will say is there will be a couple more vehicles on the channel fairly soon. Um, we'll probably, I don't know if we're going to do a revival type deal on one of them. Um, try to get it going where it's at or not. Um, either way, they will both end up here. But I'm not sure quite yet if we're going to be waiting until the shop is up or if we're just going to get them here and uh, have them ready for when the shop is up. Um, but be looking forward to that. That'll be a really cool ordeal, um, and we're 
we're really excited about that so stay tuned for that and we're gonna cut right to the c10 Buddy's truck, pay no mind to that. Harley. And the Chevelle that everybody's been asking about. Don't worry, didn't go anywhere. We will get to this very soon. I'm just gonna hop in it. Haven't been here for probably a week at least. Haven't started it for probably, oh, I don't know, probably two weeks maybe. So, uh, just gonna go for it. Ten pumps. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Beat that. Can't beat that. Yeah. There's a the Chevelle. It will be back. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. Let's go uh, see where the C10 is hiding. This is the heated side where we do all of our work. But a uh, little toolbox and then. A bunch of my junk and there it is a beautiful c10 so uh, yeah last weekend we put the uh, fuel tank in this so it has ran fairly recently as you can see there fuel gauge is working now so that's cool I'm not even gonna pump it you know what I'm just Maybe I'll pump it twice. There we go. Yep, I expected that. Like I said it's been a week, so. in there. here and let's see if you can guess it 
right there. Quick performance out of Ames, which is fairly local to where we were and very local to Junkyard Digs, all them guys, so that's cool. Hit them up, hit quick performance up, but yeah, this is, this is something for the rear axle. And by now you probably already got it, but it is a mini spool, so a locker or anything like that. And a bunch of you will probably say, well, why are you doing it that way? And why don't you weld it? Why don't you put an actual locker in it? You know, all kinds of different options that you could do. This was 42 bucks. So that was shipped. Everything. 42 bucks. So we're just going to roll with it. Um, throw this in and see what we got. I'm going to get it out of the package here and we'll show it to you. Alright, so, first thing I notice, which I'm sure they love, and everybody else that orders from them loves, got some freaking stickers, bud. Heck, yeah. I paid $42 for them four stickers. That's cool. Definitely have to put them on there. Hold on, before we get to this important stuff, what else do we got? Envoys, instructions, cool, good deal. Got freaking koozies. Man, Iowa guys, just know how to set you up. Koozies and stickers, can't ask for much better than that. So, back to the deal at hand here. Look at that. Nice and simple. Boom. Boom. Freaking boom. Yeah. There you have it. Mini spool. We will get to moving on that here shortly, but uh, Gotta get some fuel for that heater, get it warmed up in here, and then we'll uh, we'll have at it. So I'll cut right to that when we're finally warm and working on stuff. Well, there's that. So basically, this pin right there will come out, the side gears will come out, axles will be pushed in, C-clips will come out, axles will come out, spider gears will come out, and the mini spool will go in and it'll all go backwards. So I'm not going to do too much of a video on the actual install. Um, if you go to DD's speed shop he's got a good video I know there's a couple other good videos out there so I'm not gonna go too in-depth on this but uh, we're gonna get this jammed out new one slammed in and then uh, when it dries up we'll cut back to it and do some testing a little update here on where we're at so we got all the spider gears out came right out that pin out, slide it out, axles are out. We're going to uh, start going the other direction. Also, I'm going to order a adjustable pin hard bar because when I lowered the truck, the stock one pushes the axle over to one side just a little bit. So, I'm uh, gonna go ahead and get one of them coming. Um, they're super cheap, speedway, whatever. Uh, just a turnbuckle style double heim pan hard bar. Throw that on here and uh, I'll throw the old one on for now. But uh, when that comes in, it'll be a quick, easy, quick, easy uh, replacement there. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing finished up. One little update here. So uh, on these pieces that are going back in for the mini spool uh, as you can see that axle's got to come up through there for these clips to slide in uh, 
on this one you can see this one side that I've ground flat and how it should be rounded like that that's how they uh, make them the axle won't come through this slot far enough for this whole thing to go over there and then sit back down in the spool so basically what you got to do is grind this one side flat and then grind the other side flat and then basically it'll sit in that channel and you can slide it in and out to your axle and then it'll sit right down in the groove so just getting this one finished up and then we'll slap these in there and uh, be good to go all right guys so that is it really didn't take a whole lot covers back on sealed full of fluid tires back on everything's picked up really only took probably a little over an hour so not too shabby um, won't really get to test it today, it's raining too hard, and when I had the scamp, I stole the wiper blades, so can't use wipers on this right now. Don't want to go get anything, so we'll test this later on when it dries up, and uh, yeah, that's where we're at for now. Like I said, still getting settled in the new place and uh, doing all that, so just... Uh, Thank you to everybody that helped us move, my family and my wife's family, Jake and Steph here, um, especially to them for letting us leave our junk here, because otherwise I'd be sitting outside in the rain and I'd just be looking at it right now. So thank you to everybody, um, work, literally everything. It's just been, been a while dry and it's only been a month and a half, so um, couldn't ask for anything else. We've been doing pretty good. So. Thank you guys for watching. There is one other thing. I know you guys probably seen it. This El Camino. This is Jake's 73, 74. I can never remember. I think it's 73. Um, El Camino. This is everything else is out back here. But we do have everything for it. It was a complete car when we pulled it in here. We pulled out. It's got a Oldsmobile 350 actually. So that was kind of interesting but um, this is going to be kind of a long-term project and the battery died so anyway like I was saying this is going to be pretty much a long-term project um, when we're not working on anything else this is what you'll be seeing we're actually gonna uh, it'll be pretty much gutted it'll have a floor full cage um, some type of LS platform and then I think we're going to look and see if we can't find like a real ugly old school topper for it. Um, we're kind of wanting to go drift car, or sleeper build, something something pretty crazy. So you don't see these cars very much and uh, we just want to keep this one out. It's, it's actually a pretty solid car. So uh, I know it doesn't look like it, but <laughs> it, it really is. So um, that's... That's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Thanks to everyone again. Um, we will be back with more. I know it's been kind of a long, drawn-out process and not having any content, but um, we're, we're getting there. So, got a lot coming your way. Thank you again. Please like and subscribe and share and do all that good stuff, and we'll be back real soon.